guys welcome to my channel I'm Jordine if you're new here today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look okay so the first thing we're gonna go in with is primer the usual I don't have to explain that one hopefully this is the elf poreless putty though just in case you're new here so that's going in my t-zone Next, we're going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. You guys, Rimmel finally decided to extend their shade range and add some colors for darker people. So, I had to pick it up. It was $4, so, you know, let's go ahead and try it. The shade that I have is 506 Deep Noisette. I wouldn't use Noisette to describe a deep person, but okay. Deep Noisette, and it is supposed to be full coverage mattifying foundation. So it's supposed to have a flawless finish and it is a lightweight mousse. You get one fluid out. So I like to go ahead and read what these brands claim as I'm putting on the foundation, but it's a little squeezy too. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, that looks like a nice color. Um, so that we can pop this on. I'm using Sony Kashuk sponge. Okay, so it's supposed to be a matte foundation, of course. Lightweight. Blends flawlessly for a natural looking all day shine control. What, what, why are the sentences not complete? Okay, it's supposed to be <laughs> natural looking and oil controlling. Okay. Full coverage, minimizes the appearance of pores and oil free. That's all it says. It really is a mousse. So I picked this up at Walmart for $4.97. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of matte, so I don't know why I did this to myself. Cause this is probably not gonna be for me. I did have, I always prep my skin though, moisturizer, and I use a facial oil as well. Um, so that should help. So this is what the foundation looks like. I think the color looks really good. It's definitely more of a flat matte, as you can see. Not really a lot of sheen on my face. Um, my pores do look nice and minimized though. Next, I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. So they also extended that shade range as well. Um, did I tell you guys how many shades the foundation came in? It comes in 24 shades. And then this is in the shade Almond. Yeah, Almond. Um, I really wanted, I think it was golden amber, but they didn't have it at the Walmart I was at. So let me see how many shades this comes in. The golden amber shade was sold out, by the way. Not that um, it wasn't an option, it was just sold out. So the concealer now comes in 20 shades. And again, this is the shade Almond. Color seems fine. Well, this applicator is annoying. It's so small. This doesn't look like it has any coverage. All right, so the concealer is supposed to be 24 hour wear, 24 hour shine control. Also humidity proof, sweat proof, heat proof. So basically just long wearing. It does not claim to be full coverage because I don't see that happening. It's pretty lightweight though. It blends out pretty easily, but this little applicator is so tiny. You need to keep dipping in so many times to get coverage. I'm just placing it a little bit more where I have my dark circles. It's like right there in the inner corner. So this is the coverage that I have so far. I feel like I did have to layer it up a little bit to get the coverage that I desired. Um, but it looks okay, it's smooth. It's not my favorite just because of that though. I, I don't like going back and forth with concealer to get full coverage. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set. I'm using the Joa Selfie Ready Powder. 
I just wanna keep that the same, just so we can make sure I'm testing out the concealer. So next we have this. This is from The Creme Shop. I found this at Target. So The Creme Shop is a K-Beauty brand. This is their Smile Shade and Cream Trio, and it's in the shade Medium. Um, they had a light and a medium, but surprisingly, you guys, look at what medium looks like. It is pretty dark. This retailed for $17.99. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. So not that affordable for the drugstore. And also the concealer was $4.97 as well at um, Walmart. All right, so I think I'm gonna mix those two. The contour. Okay, that showed up. That blends out really nicely, very easy. I'm just gonna go in with the darker shade and see how intense it can get because it says it's very buildable. Um, where's Vox? So it's supposed to be ultra blendable formula that sculpts in shades from picture perfect features, buildable for desired intensity. And it's supposed to be a velvet matte finish. Okay, yeah, so it can get intense if you want it to. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about though is if it's gonna work for anyone darker you know is it gonna show up that looks good all right so i'm just using my sponge and kind of pressing that in so i have the stay matte powder from rimmel that i use sometimes i do like it um but I don't really powder like all over my face if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> I normally just do my T-zone. I'm just using my Sephora collection. What is this called? Number 91. Press the For bronzer, I'm just gonna go on with the Milani Earth Glow in 05. That's the name of it, Earth Glow 05. I'm gonna go in with my True Complexion Dark to Deep Contour Kit just to enhance my contour a little bit more. There you go. I saw this Rimmel Radiance Brick in the store as well. This is in the shade 03, so it's supposed to be a multi-tonal shimmer powder i was like what in the world are they saying um so that's what it looks like so it has different shades so i'm gonna go in with my hokahodo and sephora pro um i think this is called the highlight brush but that's what it looks like hokahodo Ooh, that's so pretty oh i like this this was three dollars you guys oh yeah I'm just gonna go in that lighter part and just pop. This is pretty. Pop a little bit on my nose. There we go, bring some life back. I'm just mixing it all together now. And just on the high points of my face, just add some radiance. I'm not being precise at all. You can just put this all over your face if you wanted to. Just like I have all over radiance, this is pretty. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go in with my um, highlight brush and just a little bit of that highlighter from Black Radiance.
Well, last thing for the face, we're gonna go in this Rimmel Maxi Blush. This was also four dollars. Rimmel is pretty inexpensive, and this is in the shade Wild Card. So let's see how that looks on my complexion. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's really pretty. Ooh, I like that blush. Oh, well, that's what we have for complexion. Now I'm gonna go in with brows. I picked up this from the Creme Shop. This is the Eyebrow Pom Pom. So it's like a pomade, pom pom pomade. Uh, it's in the shade Chocolate. This was $8.99. So that's what the packaging looks like says the crumb shot this is pretty cute and that's what the chocolate looks like oh this is eight dollars you guys let me see how this feels so i'm using my anastasia number seven brush brushing the hairs it sure feels okay i'm just gonna wipe a little bit on the back of my hand just to be on the safe side and pop that back on so we don't dry it out let's see so I like my brows to look a little bit more feathery, you guys. So I'm just gonna start off by, this is pigmented. <laughs> Drawing little hairs. Okay, not bad at all. I'm just gonna brush that through. Not bad at all. I'm just gonna add a little bit on the base. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, so that's how my brows look with the pomade. I'm gonna pop some brow gel in, do the other brow, and kind of clean it up, and I'll come back and I'll show you guys how that looks. So that is what my brows are looking like. I'm actually not mad at it, especially for a pomade. I feel like, I mean, it's intense. It's definitely like, you know, darker than I've been doing my brows lately, but, but it went out really nice. It was very creamy. I'm not mad at it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I'm kind of gonna fast forward through this. Well, I'm gonna just go in with my Morphe 35M palette because like I mentioned in my last video, we are using our things this year. We're not gonna keep my makeup and not use what we purchased previously. So that's what the Boss Mode palette looks like. It's really pretty, I like it a lot. And so this is what my eyes are looking like, pretty basic. Just like a little halo, smoked out the bottom, have a wing liner. So I'm gonna put on mascara. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Exhibitionist Mascara. So it's supposed to give you length and volume and separate your lashes. Smudge proof, clump proof, and good for sensitive eyes, which is good. Brush looks like that. That definitely looks like the, you know, that hourglass type brush that the Better Than Sex has. So let's put this on. That's nice. That's decent. I always do this. I always put on a new mascara when I have a white liner. Oh well. It has nice volume and it separates really nicely. All right, so now we're gonna go in with lips. So I picked up this. This is also from the Creme Shop. This is their matte liquid lipstick. So it's called My Wand and Only. And this is in the shade What A Melon. Um, so let me open this up so y'all can see. That is what the packaging looks like. It retailed for $8.99, yeah, $8.99. And it's supposed to be like no cracking, no feathering. And of course it dries down matte. So I'm gonna put on lip liner first because as you can see, that shade is pretty bright. Hopefully it goes with my eye makeup. So this is NYX lip liner in brown. 
this adult foot applicator. Oh, oh that's not gonna go with my eyes. This is not melon. How is this melon? This is like a hot pink. It's pretty. Ew. It smells like chemicals and dessert. Gross. You know what it smells like? Have you ever broken your pen and like the ink gets on your hand? That's what it smells like. It smells like freaking ink. <laughs> that is a pretty color though. I'm not mad at the color. I'm putting on the gloss like always. <laughs> this is the new Wet, Wet Wild Cat Suit. It's the Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. I'm trying to open this. All right, so that's what the applicator looks like and Yes, this is good. This is just like the dose of colors applicator. Yes, there we go. Tone that down a little bit so we can match this eye a little bit better. Okay, so the lip gloss was in the shade Send Nudes. I did kind of blot off a little bit of the color just so we can have everything kind of balance a little bit more, but I'm not mad at this lip. Um, I'm not mad at it. I just don't think it goes with my eyes that well, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be in the house. So you guys, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know how everything wore, of course. Um, but for now, this is what everything is looking like so far. Um, the foundation is okay. The coverage is pretty nice. Um, I just think it's just a little too matte. Um, I think it would probably wear a little bit better if not wear a little bit better, but I would prefer the finish if I put my Hollywood Flawless filter underneath. Um, but it, it's a good color. It's pretty smooth right now, so we'll see exactly how it wears because everybody has their preference. So if somebody prefers more of a matte finish, I'll let you guys know how that is. The concealer on the other hand, you guys, I feel like I had to build it up too much. But if you were looking for something that is more medium coverage that is still smooth, I would say that this one might be a good option. We'll definitely see how it wears throughout the day though, and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, I had my makeup on for about 10 hours, and this is what it looks like. Remember that I sprayed the dewy spray on my face? So it does have a slight sheen, but do you guys realize, like, it is not oily at all. This definitely stayed matte really well. I was concerned about how dry it was going to look, but I think the spray really helped, and I actually like the way that it looks on my complexion. It did a really good job. This is definitely something that I would recommend for the summer months. If you feel like you have more oily skin, this would probably do a really good job. And it was only like four, it was $4.97, so less than $5 at Walmart. So this is a good foundation. As for the concealer, I do like the way that it wore. So that's what it was looking like. No creasing at all. You guys, this concealer is has done better than some high-end concealers that I've tried recently. So I'm not even mad at it. The only thing I would say is that I had to build it up a lot to get the actual coverage that I wanted. So if you are looking for a long wearing like medium coverage concealer, then this is a good one. It's probably not gonna be one that I reach for too often or I'll probably just wear it on very like natural days if I need to conceal like my under eyes. But I like this a lot. This is really nice. And as for the brow pomade, I think it did a really good job too. Well, let's see if it smudges. So, off just slightly, but nope, it's pretty good. It didn't wipe off completely. I think it looks really good. As for the lip, you can see it's gone. I took it off. I couldn't stand the taste. It was not, I was not here for that liquid lipstick. I liked the color, but the taste just threw me off. I can find something that same color in a different brand will do just fine. All right. The lips, uh, I like the lip gloss. The liquid lipstick, I do not like the way that it smells or tastes for that matter of fact. I just feel like I have chemicals all in my mouth. So I do like the color, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear that again because I'm just not here for that. The mascara is actually pretty nice as well. Um, I feel like it gave me a lot of volume. Sorry about the liner, I always do that. But I'll keep you guys updated about the mascara. This little trio right here is really nice. Like the colors are perfect. If you're looking for a cream contour, definitely check this out. It's 17, you get three colors. Um, That's not bad at all because most cream contours for darker skin are like stick foundations. Um, 
or like you know fancy matchstick and that's 25 and you get three colors in here so try that out the brow product was pretty good too we'll see how that wears just make sure it doesn't come off but if you're looking for a pomade this is definitely a good affordable creamy one so that was good i really like the blush color um the blush goes with the lip though i just messed up on the eyes i, was, I wasn't thinking when i was doing my eyes but the blush is very pretty and it blended very nice and I also really like this Radiance Brick because it just gave the skin an all over like sheen without looking too, too bright or too heavy. I like it. I feel like this will look like a really good bronzer on lighter skin tone if you want it more of like that Radiance bronze to your skin. That's going to be it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And have you guys tried anything from Rumble before? What are your thoughts on the brand itself and also the Creme Shop? Because that's where the majority of the products are from, Rumble and the Creme Shop. Have you tried any of that? I know the Creme Shop is located at Target and CVS. So let me know what products you like and maybe I'll go ahead and pick that up. Everything will be listed in the description box down below if you're interested in trying any of this out. And if you have not, I would love for you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.